All right, guys. Well, I figured I'm, I'm sitting here waiting on a shipment. I ordered a bunch of stuff for my Yamaha Grizzly. If you're into four-wheelers, um, I've, I've got a bunch of stuff I'm going to do to a 700 Grizzly. So if you're interested in that, check out my other videos. And a Wolverine. I've got a Yamaha Wolverine for my wife. But today, um, I'm due for a 500-hour service. I don't have everything that I want to do on it. I wiped off my fuel filter so you could see it. Otherwise, it'd be dusty like this. it kind of blend in. Um, but here's your fuel filter, water separator, oil filter. Wipe my oil filter off too so you kind of see it. Um, again, otherwise it'd be dusty. Probably wouldn't be able to see it when I went like that. Your dipstick. You all know where your dipstick is. Um, really, sh you should check that every day. I don't. I might check it once a week. I know I'm very bad about it. Um, but I generally don't have problems out of this machine. I know that's not a good habit to be in, not checking the oil every time you start. I need to get back into it. But anyways, I figured I would show you guys how to change oil on a Yanmar excavator. So I have got a, you know, just a, a filter wrench, any kind of filter wrench. I've got a 14 mil on my handy dandy little Milwaukee uh, cordless ratchet creeper. Let's show you guys this down here. I got my new little tripod thing here. Let me extend you guys up. Maybe we'll be able to get you in here to where you can see what I'm doing. Boy, that thing holds pretty good. I've got me a new little tripod thing that hopefully will work out pretty good. Uh, you guys might be able to see what I'm doing on there. Uh, Leave that one over there. It slides off. Doesn't have very much debris at all on that pan, but we'll clean that pan off. And then uh, your drain plug. Let me get you guys spin around here. Here's your drain plug here. So let me get a wrench, and I'll get my uh, I'll get my drain pan, and we'll get this draining out. And we'll pull that oil filter. So give me just one second. Three quarter inch wrench or a uh, 19 mil. We'll get you done here. And I think I probably should have got something for the splashback. I don't remember how far that comes out. Kind of scared, but nope, not horrible. All right. To control, I try to control my splash back there with the uh, with the uh, oil fill cap, and I should have it. I should have had it looser than what I did. You saw it like gulping. You don't want to do that. That makes it a pain because I just made a mess. So don't do that. simple as you would think pulling the filter off maybe you guys can see that if I get out of the way of the light it has a uh, catch pan little catch pan thing on the bottom you saw when I was down below moving that hose that's what that little hose is it comes off the bottom of your little drain pan deal catches oil off this filter so you don't make a mess everywhere You 
And you guys almost got to talk to a, let me get out of the way of the light, sorry. Long-winded filter there. But as you can see, that little catch pan thing there, if you can see it, it catches, I would say it caught all the oil, even with me stumbling a little bit with the filter there, it caught all the oil. So, and I don't know, you guys can use whatever flavor, whatever flavor you want, whatever floats your boat. I, uh, I don't, I don't really do synthetic oil in my machines. I mean, for not any reason at all, besides I'm just used to running 1540 Rotella. Um, Pre-lubing the filter here, turbo or not, it doesn't really matter to me. I usually just put some oil in the filter. This is a horizontal filter, so obviously you fill it up, it's gonna pour out probably. But I get it the majority of the way filled up. And then lube your O-ring. So it's easier to come off next time. Check and make sure your gasket is not stuck on there. You don't want to double gasket it. I'm trying to let you guys see here. I should have tried to get a a light in there or something. Um, thought I had a regular rag. I got a t-shirt rag here. You guys almost got to talk to Jeremy Shoop, speed miner Jeremy. Now I'm two-handed here. There you go. Well, generally I clean up my tray, but normally I'm not sitting here shooting with a camera. I usually clean that little tray off. Spray a little bit of brake clean in it, but I'm not going to this time because I'm about out of brake clean. Got like one can left, so. All right. Well, there's that. Wipe your filter off so you can mark it with your mark it with your paint pen. I had that other. Belly pan back up. Go crazy with them all right let's go up top all right well what we're doing today is we're gonna finish servicing the Yanmar I changed the oil I don't know I think I put a couple hours on it since I changed the oil I'm gonna mark both the filters um, this one's marked still marked PDI but it's because it's on the cover um, but we are going to change the fuel filter and the water separator. And let's see if we can make less of a mess draining this. Uh, let's turn it off. And I'll share with you guys. So I bought a factory filter for this, for the spin-on fuel filter. And then for the water separator, um, I got a Wix. We're gonna see if it's the right filter. I've got right at 500 hours on it. Um, and I just recently got a Wix and a Fleet Guard crossover part number 
for the uh, the spin-on filter. I'll show that as well. If you guys want to buy a Yanmar, buy a Yanmar. If you want to buy the Wix or a Fleet Guard, that's what I'm going to do next time. Because this filter, I mean, it should be the right one. I got it from my dealer. $75. It's a, this filter number is a 129A00-55800-HD. zero zero dash five five eight zero zero dash hd 75 bucks at my dealer and if you look online they're they're right around that price on amazon or any of that stuff actually i think there was there was more than a few of them that was uh that was higher priced than my dealer I didn't even think to get the part number. I just dunked that in fuel. Now it's going to be messy. Come on, sit on there. Um, but I did price out. I did. I did check it for a couple of them online, and they were they were right around the same price or a little more money. Turn that backwards there to try to get the threads to start and it acted like it didn't want to start in there. Finally it skipped and it felt good, so you can just go you can spin it in there. Okay. Don't break. I need to get me a, a band. got like those fabric nylon band wrenches. I need to get one of those. Hold that for me. Okay. And then what I bought Hopefully it's the right one. We're gonna find out the the uh, water separator. I got a Wix one zero three six nine, and uh, we'll see if it's the right one. It doesn't come with the O ring. Uh, it's probably gonna be possibly be just a little bit of fuel. Want to pull this out? It's kind of heavy. I mean, it's got some weight to it. Way light, or, you know, the new one is way lighter, so. And it looks, it looks the same. I'm just gonna get a little bit of fuel on my finger to get that gasket. Lubed up a little bit so you can shove that filter up in there. And then, Cut back on, weave your floaty in there. Say that's good. We're good. And somehow it got to be almost in the same spot. Okay, so I would say that that filter is correct. Um, and we got a Yanmar filter, I guess, for that one. Um, I don't have a pan or anything to put in there. Let me find a cup in the trash can. Okay. Just a, a quart oil jug. I saw. Uh, who was I watching? I was watching Chris on Let's Dig 18. He tried a bag. I mean, it didn't really seem to work out good. Chris, what I would do is, for some reason you're watching my channel, I really appreciate it. Um, but what I would try is just cut, even if you need to get like a, a gallon jug for like a windshield washer bottle, cut it short and put it up underneath that filter, loosen it up. It'll hold quite a bit. Just try to calculate what you're gonna need. But I do that a lot. Tighten it down quite enough to grab that. 
I'm gonna have to grab my other ones, I think, because they're touching. So let me grab, actually I got a band wrench that'll fit that problem up just in case, but I think this band wrench will fit. If not, I got a smaller pair of smaller pair of pliers. Nope, band will, band will get it. All right. I have no idea what size band this is. I don't think they say. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe take your filter in with you. And then what I do is just like that. So now you can take this filter off and you can catch a good majority of the fuel that comes out. And you just let the filter drop down, you know, into the into the cork, the bottom of the cork jug that you cut, and it'll help keep a lot of the the excess fuel and stuff that may or may not come out of this filter. And then when it drops down into there, you're not gaining any height except for just a little tiny bit on the bottom of that filter. So see, so as it drains out a little bit, that was me. I spilled that. But it caught the fuel out of that fuel filter. Sorry, my nose is running. It's like, I don't know, 35, 40 degrees today. It's crazy. Now, yes, I'm going to fill this filter up with fuel out of my truck. All right, well, I verified with Speedbiter Jeremy that this is the right filter. So I'll give you guys the cross reference filters that I found for it. Man, it just doesn't seem right. It grabs real quick and it just doesn't feel right. But that 55800HD, he rattled off the part number. So I'm gonna I'm trust his word and he's my guy that I call to answer any questions if I can't get a hold of my dealer. I call Jeremy. Now guys, don't call him and bug him. He will kill me. All right? He will absolutely kill me. So don't be calling Speedbinder Jeremy and bugging him all day and saying Jason said it's okay. Because he watches my videos too. He'll know that I'm not saying to call him. I mean, he is a good resource if you need something. But please, please don't bug him because I will get murdered. And then you guys won't be able to watch my videos no more. So, all right, well... I have, here, let's give you the crossover part numbers. I took a picture of the crossover the other day. Okay, so if you want the cross for this filter, I haven't checked it yet, but I'm gonna order, I may actually order the fleet guards because the fleet guard filters are cheaper than the Wix. Um, and I like fleet guard. I like fleet guard and I like Wix. Uh, the Wix direct crossover for this filter list as a WF10176. Now, I haven't verified. I want to tell you guys, I haven't verified. Please, if you get it, look at it, make sure it looks like, and make sure it feels like the right filter. Um, the Fleet Guard is a FF5638 part number. Uh, if you're a Baldwin guy, which I'm not a big Baldwin guy, but if you're a Baldwin guy, it's a BF9910. Uh, a Napa filter is a 600176. Uh, all the rest of them, I don't know. I don't know what some, who some of these are. But anyways, those are the ones that I would probably trust. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a Baldwin guy. The rest of them I'm good with. I'd be fine with Napa. Wix makes their filters. Um, I'm kind of. I usually do Wix. I'll, I'll do Fleet Guard. I just don't have a good source for Fleet Guard besides Amazon or you know an e store or something. Anyways, uh, it looks like we do need to top off our coin a little bit. It's a little low. Um, but um, hang on. Let's kick the key on. Let's turn this back on. Kick the key on. All right, I cycled the key, I don't know, five, six times so far. 
and you see how it's filling the the uh, yep <coughs> the bowl back up. I can't even think today. Um, you want to cycle your key, I don't know, six to eight times, ten times. Um, you just want to make sure you try to get all the air out of the system. You can probably turn it on and leave it on for... Actually, it just stopped. Um, it was pumping. I could feel it in the, in the housing. I'm going to do it one more time. Usually, uh, some of the John Deere stuff and all that, you have to cycle the key. Um, it only runs for like five or ten seconds but this will probably start up now so let's try it the final drives what you want to do they give you multiple choices here on you know trying to get your drain plug down and this is your fill hole um, so you just want to get your drain plug at the bottom of the final drive you want to pull your fill plug out first I already broke these loose you kind of want to clean the face of your final drive off mine had mud on it my undercarriage is full yes um, it's it rains every single day or every other day. We've been, we've been muddy for a couple months. We have not had dry weather. Yesterday was 80 something, but it rained most of the day or drizzled most of the day, I guess. And, uh, and today it's 30 something, maybe 40 degrees outside. So, And it's easy, it's as easy as pulling the drain plug, you drain it into a pan. Make this a little simpler probably. Add from that hole up there. If I can get my socket off now with oil on the hands. Let's take that off. Might be a little simpler. You can add oil because you're dealing with those planetaries. Right behind there, you got you have that gear set behind that cover. So we can do this, and it'll take oil a little faster. And then you can fill it up until you have oil coming out of your your uh, center plug here. that off so you can see see when fluid starts coming back out and this thing doesn't pump very much at a time <laughs> it's barely gotten any out of the jug there we go see it approaching the hole there so we're good to go there And then we will be off to the other side. You don't have to crank these down super tight. They're O-ring. They've got O-ring seals on them, so you don't want to go crazy and tighten them to the, to the hilt.
All right. Well, you want to see the other side? All right, let's do it. All right, so I replaced the air filter also. It is a WA10854, and that was the correct air filter. So let's, let me grab this real quick, plug it in, put my life support on the camera, and we will show you guys. We'll show you guys how to reset your your monitors in here. Okay. Let's see. It's cold as heck today. Alright. Alright. Um, and I don't know. I might be able to do this without the machine running. But let's see. That way maybe you can hear me a little better. Um don't know. Does it help any? Not really. Not this. That might help. Not really. Okay. Um, what you do, if you hit this, it'll tell you what it's trying to let you know. You know, it's letting you know something's wrong with the little blue light. And if that little eye icon information, I assume, it'll scroll through. You know, I need to do air filter at that many. You know, it's got that many hours, and I set it at that many. But anyways, go through here. Um... Is it in the wrench? Yes. Okay. Um, I already changed the engine oil 22 hours ago. Now, so what you can do, say you want to, you want to pick this. You hit this button and you can pick it. Now you can scroll through and say you want to change your intervals. So I changed mine to 250 hours to change my oil. So that's how you can go through. That's why my engine oil and engine filter say 250 i think it used to say 500 um hydraulic oil i was going to leave it at uh 500 and then uh return filter actually i've got my return filter i set it at 250 um but the hydraulic oil at 500 um i run a lot of attachments air filter I'm just going to leave it at 500, um, but you can hit your R to reset and then back out of it because I blow my filter out. If it needs one before that, well, that didn't take. There you go. And back, well, I don't know why that's not taking. Jeremy's going to be sitting here screaming at me. Okay, you gotta hit your check mark to to take it. Uh, fuel filter, we just did it, so let's pick it, reset, hit your your check mark to check it. Travel reduction gears, I set mine at 500 hours. Um, I'd already changed it once, but I went through and set it at 500 because I think it was at, actually set at a thousand for some reason, and Jeremy was yelling at me saying no, change it at at uh, 500 or maybe 250 or something. I mean, gear oil is cheap. So I usually check it, and if it looks dirty, it, if you question it, it doesn't hold, but maybe, uh, I don't even know. I don't really think I used a gallon out of that two-gallon jug. So it's very cheap to do. But a lot of guys kind of get confused on how to do their little maintenance screen. A lot of times I've got to sit there and, and fiddle with it a little bit to, to uh, get it done. But anyway, so you can see now at a, a real quick glance, you can go into your into your wrench and you can look, oh, I changed my oil. You know, I got like 10 more hours to go or whatever. This is a countdown. I've got 22 hours on my oil change. I've got mine set at 250 hours, like I said. And you can do whatever. Um, let's go back in there. Go in the wrench service. Um, so there's my oil filter. Hydraulic oil I got set at 500. Maybe I need to scale that to 250 with the return filter. But I figured the return filter every 250 hours is good. 
air filter, fuel filter. Now next time when I do this, generally I try to uh, I try to do everything all at once. Um, I just didn't have I didn't have the the filter and whatnot. Uh, I didn't have the fuel filter. I didn't have an air filter. I had to order it from O'Reilly's, but they had it in a day or half a day, couple hours or something. I just called them this morning. Um, but I wanted to do the uh, the water separator and all that. I wanted to get everything totally done for my 500 hour service. And I wanted to do my final drives again because I'd already done them once and that was the second time I've done my final drives. I did it early on when the machine was fairly new to get you know, any kind of bad stuff out of there. But anyways, hopefully the video helped. I'm gonna try to get it linked into one video, you know, the oil change, all that. I am gonna top off that coolant um, before I before I do anything else. And then look out for a video if you guys have a Kubota. I'm gonna do my Kubota final drives now because it uh, doesn't even have 500 hours on it yet, I don't think. But even if it does, don't care. I'm gonna do them because it's cheap. Uh, it's cheap insurance to do and we're just gonna get them done. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks.